Hey, what's up? Today I have a very special build to show you guys. It's a multi-item sorting system. And that's the result of week-long collaboration with Rapscallion and Samus the Sage, who are some other really great Redstone YouTubers, and you should definitely check them out if you haven't already. So, uh, why do we need a multi-sorting system? Well, this is my based on the Nightlife Gaming server, and as you can see, I've got these chests around here, and they're kind of sorted, like this is plant material, over here I have valuables, and over here I have... Uh, decoration blocks and stuff and so normally when I come back from working on a project or just exploring the world I have a bunch of these joker boxes so this one's got sand but generally they're filled with like a bunch of random items right and I spend the next half hour just unloading all my shulker boxes into these various chests and well I could have sorting systems the typical sorting system only sorts like one type of item or you need like a massive array of sorters to sort the different items and then you gotta route them all back to one chest. So what a multi-sorting system does is it will sort say all my ores or whatever and it can output them all to the same slice here. And it can do it in a rather efficient manner. So I don't have to spend that half an hour running around dropping off all my items. You know. So that's what we're gonna look at today and I hope you enjoy. All right, so we're now in my testing world, and you can see I've got some stuff set up here. So in this video, I'm going to go through an explanation of how the system works, and then I'm gonna show you a quick demo of it working, and then I'll get to a tutorial on how to build it. So if you wanna see these things actually built in like a full-scale base build, you should check out the other guys' videos. They each have one. I believe Samos is more of a showcase, and then Rapscallion has a showcase, a little explanation, and he also has a world download. So if you want to get that, you can head over to their channels. The link will be in the description below, as well as in the cards. So let's get started. All right, so the core of the system is this overhead item filter design that was originally invented by Shilgafreak, as far as I can tell, back in May of 2017. So up in this chest, we have all these filter items, whatever you want to be filtered into the segment. And then you have a bunch of blockers that are just named so that uh, we don't get stuff in it later on. And what happens is in this hopper, you get your input coming in like this. And when it gets one item in here, it raises the power level of this comparator from one to two. And we got a little composter over here with one power level and we're using subtract mode so it's not actually outputting anything until we get a power level of two and what that does is it powers these t torches over here so that will first unpower this one which will unpower this redstone line and then one tick later it will repower this torch which will turn it back on and that'll give us a quick off pulse which will then allow this hopper to suck in, in an item so if the item that's in the hopper matches any of your filter items, that filter item will then drop into the hopper as well. And then later in that same tick, we will be unpowering the hopper below it, which will then let those items out. So if there's a match, we'll have two items in here. If there's not a match, we'll just have one. So those items will come down this hopper tower here and be output into this dropper. If there's two of them, that means there's a match. So the first one will get sent up the line like this, and the matched item will then get dropped out to your storage. If it wasn't a match, then there's only gonna be one item in here, and that item will all also get sucked up to the top. So the first item will always get sent to the top. If there's two, it'll drop one out. So then we have to decipher essentially if this was a matched item or a non-matched item because if it was a matched item we have to that means this is the filter item we have to put it back in the filter here right and if it's an unmatched item then we want it to continue to the next slice and get dropped down so the way we do that is we have a very perfectly timed pulse to all these droppers here which actually powers them all on the same tick so in the same tick we'll go from the item being in the bottom to being in the output and so we could see that this dropper here is pointing back into the chest over there, our filter chest. And so what happens is 
if it was a match, then the item we're sending to the top is the item for our filter, and it belongs in this chest. So that'll get sent up all the way over here and spit back into the chest because there's an open slot where it came from. If it wasn't a match, then it'll come all the way up here, just like the other one, and this dropper will attempt to deposit it in the chest, but since there wasn't a match, the chest is full, it can't do that, and then the hopper will suck it out and pass it along to the next slice. So not a very complicated system, that's the gist of it, and we can see it working over here. The whole system works on a eight tick clock, that's redstone ticks, so that's what we've got set up here. It's not much extra to be added to the system, you can add this kind of wherever you want and then route the items in. But let's just see what we got here. So we've set this one up for blue concrete, this one's set up for like oranges and yellows, and this is set up for pinks and purples. And then if something doesn't match, it'll come into this chest over here. Let's just double check. Yep, I got a, a few in here already that we can see. So we'll just pull these out and then we'll run a few through and test it out. Yep, a bunch of random junk in there. And come up here. We've got some blues, some yellows. Let's put pink. Maybe let's throw a couple of orange in there. Let's do like half a stack and then green. Green doesn't match anything. So now we've got something that matches uh, each of these slices and we'll just flip this lever, turn it on. This dropper system and clock will detect when items are in this dropper. So you can just have whatever system you want to get them in there and then it will input to the system. And we can hear that it's completely silent, very small, and it works super fast. I believe the previous uh, best option was like a 12 redstone tick design. So we've cut it all the way down to eight. That's like 33% improvement, as well as reducing the size. This is a seven by six by two. So if we look down here, we can see we're getting the blue in this chest orange and yellow in this chest, pink and purple in this chest, and then we're getting some green over here because that's unsorted. So you might also want to check out Rapscallion's video. This system doesn't have built-in overflow protection, but it's just a little chunk that you add to the bottom here. This is just the sorter part of it. You can add overflow protection to each one of these segments, and he shows you how to do that. So let's uh, move on to the tutorial. So to build this, you're first going to have to figure out where you want your topmost chest to be. And then you can come behind it like this, drop a hopper, hopper, come around, dropper to the side, and then we'll build three droppers up, one over to the side, and one over to the side like that. And you can take your chest, place that in there, like so. And then we're going to do hoppers, one facing into this dropper here, into the top of this one, and we're going to grab our solid block, whatever that's going to be, and we'll face one into that as well. Then we come over here, underneath, this is going to be our comparator, like so, and we gotta have another one out the front of that. And then we got torches, one there, one there, solid block on top of that, torch on top of that, solid block on top of that, and then we're going to step down like so, place redstone dust on top, and that is our off pulse for powering and unpowering this top hopper right there. Then we have to do the one below, so we come down here like that, and we can put one there. And we want redstone dust underneath this torch, and a repeater on one tick facing that way, and then another redstone dust over here. Then we have to come to the other side, we have to hook up the power to these droppers. So we're going to get some observers out, and we'll face one into that dropper like so, one above that, and a repeater on one tick facing there. And underneath here, we're going to need an observer like that, and then facing into this. This will lock this so that we can shoot that first item out. That's what these two on the bottom do. And then we're going to need a rail down here take a rail out, solid block, 
or actually we're going to have another observer isn't like that and then we're going to have a redstone dust on top and we can set this to subtract mode and the reason we have to do that is because we need it to be off when there is one power level in here which we'll get to later pick a comparator and a composter uh, if you're on previous versions you might need to use a cauldron and some water levels but we're doing a composter and one cake will fill this up to one level all right then we have to take uh, the signal actually out of the top here we need to use this top redstone dust otherwise we're going to get extra pulses we come down like this and face it into a solid block so that'll run the power through this dust through the observer and into these two bottom ones here then we also have to come to the top one over here so we're going to take another rail up here like that come back up solid block solid block we're going to need an end server facing like that a repeater on one tick and another rail up here and i believe that is the whole circuit so not bad at all all right i forgot one more thing we're gonna have to place a hopper in this section here so we're just gonna take a block like that come in here grab a hopper and face it outwards like so and you can get rid of the block and then the only thing we have left to do is set up these inventories so in this top one you're just going to take some item probably want to rename it to like blocker or something like that and then you can put whatever you want to sort in here so whatever it ends up being maybe i want green as well we go like that and then in the one below it we're going to need to set it up for 0 19 1 1 1 and you should probably name these as well and these have to be different than the ones you use in the top otherwise they'll just end up dropping through so that's pretty much it not a very difficult build probably takes five minutes to set up and not many resources so i'll have those listed here in the end of the video so that's it for this video i'm just going to do a quick fly over here at the end with a card show and you can see all the different designs we kind of came up with and we got one little secret design here that is six by six by two a little bit smaller it runs at nine redstone ticks so a little bit slower but it was a little too finicky for us to be able to release so there were some directionality issues and whatnot and we decided to just go with the faster slightly larger version that was much more stable so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye